Hey, what's going on everyone? This is BigBrace channel, your go-to place where we explore all things programming. My name is Amir and in this video, we're going to check out how we can containerize a Django project using Docker. And if you're new to the channel, I would like to welcome you and I would like also to ask you to hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell in order to get the latest updates and videos from our channel. Now, before we get started, let me clarify that this video is not new. It's actually part of our older video series, Docker Crash Course. But I figured that this topic is still relevant and wanted to share it with you. So the million dollar question is, why should you containerize your apps with Docker? Well, for starters, Docker allows you to package your application into standardized containers. This simply means that your app can run smoothly on your machine, regardless of the operating system or environment. Plus, containers are lightweight and can be easily scaled up or down as needed. And with Docker's tools, you can easily manage containers and automate deployment. But let's not forget about the most important benefit of all, that your apps will be more secure and isolated from each other. With containers, you can ensure that your apps are running in a controlled environment and avoid any potential conflicts or security breaches. And that wraps up the introduction. With that being said, let's go ahead and check out how we can containerize a Django project using Docker. Let's go ahead and create a folder. I'll call it Django, Django Docker Project. Okay, it's a long name, but just to describe what we're doing. And I'm going to open that with VS Code. All right, so the first thing we need to do now is to create a Docker file. So let's create Docker file. Then we will say from Python, like we did in the other example. And here we will see together new things that we didn't see in, other, uh, in the other example. For instance, we will have the environment. We need to define the environment. And here the environment for Python is called Python unbuffered. And we will set it to one or to true. The next thing that I want is the work directory, which will be equal to just slash code creating a path or a folder called code, then we want to copy from requirements.txt, which is essentially the dependencies, okay, that your Django project will need. And we want to copy from requirements.txt to the code folder. And we will run this by pip install reading mode requirements.txt. Then at last, we will copy everything from the current directory to the code folder. All right. And let's go ahead now and create requirements.txt. So I'm defining here the Django version that I want to install as a dependency and less than 4.0. Okay, perfect. So now we have saved requirements and closed it. Now let's go ahead and create another important file and we will call that file docker-compose.yaml. This file describes the services that make your app, okay? So in this example, we have two types of services, web server and database. And the compose file describes which Docker images these services use and how they linking together. Just for the sake of time, I'll just copy that and I will paste it in Docker Compose. So you can see here we have two types of services, database and web. Database is, um, the image is from Postgres, so we'll, um, Docker will go to Docker Hub and will pull the Postgres image and install it environment postgres db equal to postgres postgres user equal to postgres and the password is postgres and if you have worked with django before you know that django works with sqlite database so when we will create our project we will need to uh, change in the settings file we'll need to change from sqlite to postgres in order to be compatible then we have the web build from the current directory command Python manage.py run server 
um, four times zero eight thousand which is the local host ports this means that the local port should be set to um, the public one and this depends on db which is set here all right now let's go ahead and create a project usually in django you would do django admin start project followed by the name of the project here we will do it differently in docker so you will need to type docker dash compose run web then django admin followed by start project command and the name of the project so we will say simply django project followed by dot which means I want to compose this project in the current directory all right so it's building from Python you see it goes line by line um, in the docker file when we have set from Python 3 we have set the environment 3 on 6 working directory code copying the requirements then installing the requirements all right installing Django successfully installed Django okay then copy everything to code successfully built and this is the um, the image id all right image for service web was built because it did not already exist to rebuild this image you must use docker compose build or docker compose up dash dash build we will see that later all right okay perfect now if we will do uh, what's inside um, our django docker project we will find that we have successfully created the Django proj, uh, project. We still have the docker compose.yaml, the docker file, requirements.txt, and manage.py. Okay, so we have our Django project. And let's go ahead and change uh, in the settings. We will need to change the database. And later we'll need to add um, the name of the application in installed apps after we, we, um, after we will create it then we have the database this needs to be changed all right so also for the sake of time I will copy it and I will replace with uh, the Postgres host DB uh, the port is 5432 the engine is uh, backends.postgresql okay and now we have a compatible system between um, the settings.py and the docker compose.yaml. All right, let's close that, let's close that. And let's get back to our terminal. Now let's go ahead and run our application from Docker. So we will run the docker compose up command and we will hit enter. Okay. So we have got an error loading psycho PG2 module, no module named psycho PG2. So we will need to add in our requirements the psycho PG2 module. So let's exit Docker. Okay, stopping Django. All right. And let's go to requirements and add the psycho PG2 module. So psycho pg2 dash binary version 2.8 plus okay let's save that and let's docker compose build in order to update what we have done okay every time you make some changes you need to update that in order to be reflected in the docker image All right, so collecting and downloading Psycho PG2. And once that done, we will actually try to um, run again the server from Docker. So uh, let's say Docker compose up to 
run the project inside Docker. Okay, looks fine. Okay, perfect. So starting development server at um, four zeros, 8,000, which is the local host. Let's go ahead and click on that. Let's open. And we have our server is working perfectly. Okay, so it's listening on port 8000. And this is running from Docker. This is not running locally from a machine. Okay, so let's close that. And let's uh, hit Control C just to stop the server. So the last thing that I want to do in this course is to create an app for the project. And to do that is very similar to what we did to create the project. So docker dash compose um, run web. Then we want from Python manage.py start app and the name of the app. Let's say I love Docker. And here you don't have to make dot, just hit enter and it will be created in um, in the directory. All right, perfect. So we have I love Docker created. So let's go ahead and make some modifications. First of all, I would like to create templates. And in templates, I will create index.html. Okay. And I will just paste that. It's just simple boilerplate with two tags. I love Docker. I'm also Piscus. All right. Um, just nothing fancy, really. And I want to go to views and I want to create um, index function and it takes a request. All right. And what it does, it returns um, render and the request and the file is called index.html. Okay. All right. So this is views also in uh, also here, I would like to create urls.py and from django.urls, I want to import um, the path and from current directory, I want to import the views and the patterns, url patterns, okay, views.index, okay. So um, the path is uh, when it's empty path or just a slash, I want to go to views and um, just trigger the index function. All right. Now in the Django project itself, I would like to add that app in installed apps. All right. So come here, we'll add I underscore love underscore Docker. And also in uh, URLs, I want to add uh, the path, which is empty string, it goes to I underscore love docker dot URLs. All right. Okay, nice. And I want also to import include. Okay. Now in order to update, we will use um, the command docker compose build to update. But as we want to run the application from Docker after updating, I can use a shortcut for that. So I'll say Docker compose up dash dash build. So it finished building, it checked for any changes, successfully built and it gave us this image, uh, this image ID. All right. Okay, perfect. So uh, looks okay. Let's go ahead now and open the browser to check out the local host for our program, which is working from Docker. Let's go ahead to localhost port 8000. And we have I love Docker, I am Piscus. So we have successfully created a Django project and we have created also an app and this app is running from Docker. All 
All right, guys, so this is the end of this crash course. I hope it was useful to you. I didn't cover everything in Docker because Docker is very big, but I promise in the future projects, I will um, include Docker as part of the process. So to give you more practical view on how to use Docker in um, real life applications, if you will. Okay, so uh, once again, thank you very much guys for watching and uh, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I will leave the code in the description section below and I will see you in the next crash courses.